No, sir. That's right, citizen. Wait, citizen. Are you about to throw something away? Make sure you use the correct receptacle. Hill Valley takes pride in its diverse waste management system. What is the aluminum content of that can? Make sure it goes into the correct blue receptacle. Is that green, clear, or amber glass? It makes a difference. Remember that all consumable wrapping is tagged with a microchip to help us automatically police litter. In Valley Courthouse, how may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc, or, uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. Biff? Doc? Doc, wait! I need to talk to... You. Biff? Hey, well, you're, you're George and Lorraine's youngest. Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. <laughs> Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ha! <laughs> Doc! Yeah, that should be his new nickname. But, but yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. Well, you got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, or uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real... butthead. I don't see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Into too much trouble. What with the booze, the party, and the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. You <laughs> pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen plus or bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin, I, I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? Oh, no, 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 nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always d discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley, too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that, but yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. 
Uh, sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch him sooner or later. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. Yeah, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. Yeah, I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Do you think I'd get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? Yeah, I guess, but why would you want to act like that? So you won't break any rules anymore? Can't. The Citizen Plus treatment makes it physically impossible for me to break rules. How so? Now I get physically ill if I try to break a rule. How's your re-education holding up? Still incapable and uninterested in breaking the rules. Sure you aren't craving a beer? I do kind of miss beer. On, on second thought, blah. Used to be a real bruiser. But that's all behind me now. So what? You wouldn't even defend yourself? I don't know if I could, actually. Wuss. Oh, you're just aching to find out, though. <gasps> oh. Oh. Don't torment me. I can get used to this. No, please, Martin. Don't make me angry. All right, Biff. You're off the hook this time. See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin. What's Jen up to now? Must be where Jen keeps her paints. Locked. I don't want to go digging through the trash unless I absolutely have to. Jennifer! Jen! You got a problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this time, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, barf! You act like I'm a turn-off, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but you're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. Are you going out with someone else? I bet I can make you forget him. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. So do you spend most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your...
No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to uh, break a few rules myself. You? Do you know where I could score some forbidden materials? Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kinda, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favoritest legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest! That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss-in. Let's not, and say we did. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. Wuss. Hill Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Did you get a load of Biff Tannen back there? He's so... Calm. Yeah, creeps me out. You and me both. If that's what the Citizen Plus program's all about, I'll stay a Citizen Minus. What do you know about the Citizen Plus program? Only what I hear on TV, and the radio, and the newspapers, and the PA systems all over town. They want everybody to enroll, and they say it'll make us all happy and well-adjusted. Which is why I'm gonna stay clear of it. Citizen Brown is a really great guy. You're wasting your breath, Martin. I don't buy into all that happy talk. No, really. This crazy police state wasn't his idea. It'll all get undone once I have a good talk with him. You know, I almost feel sorry for you. It won't be long before I see Citizen Brown. Hey, can I come with you? You want to see Citizen Brown too? Yeah. Maybe he can give me a heart when he gives you a brain. Couldn't hurt to ask. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Look out, son! Mom? Mom? Mom! But are you happy? Happiness is overrated, Lorraine. I'm content. Well, I'll think about it. Mom? Hi there, Martin. I saw you as I was driving in. Did you hear me honking? Mom, that can't be you. Martin, are you all right? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's just that you're so, so gray. Well, isn't that an uplifting way to greet your mother? Sorry, I just don't... I guess you're right, though. I am going a little gray. No thanks to your father. So what? Are you out here shopping or something? Oh, shopping? Poof! Who shops anymore? No, it's that time of the month for me again. Uh... For my civic duty. I'll be polishing the statue all day. Oh, right. What's with the golf cart, Mom? Now, Martin, I know you're embarrassed to be driving around in last year's model, but we really can't afford the 86s yet. Well, what about my truck? <laughs> no one owns a truck in Hill Valley. Martin, are you sure you're feeling okay? Yeah, yeah, I just... I must have had a really vivid dream last night. Well, I hope your dream world was more fun than this one. Could you do me a favor? 
I forgot to give your father my timesheet for last week, and now Mr. Nosy is convinced 